Bracket the Yahawa, Bracket the Yahoo Shai, Bracket the Yahawa, Bracket the Yahoo Shai, Bracket the Yahawa, Bracket the Yahoo Shai. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, Jerubo. And I want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word in our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, you know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to you, sincere Akim, you know. My lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai Bashim Kakadash, is going to be basically how uh, the wicked of our people, the wicked of Israel, all right, the scriptures talk about two thirds, all right, here in America, they're going to be blinded all the way up until the missiles come, all right, they're not going to get this truth, all right, no matter how you put it, no matter, no matter how simple you break it down to, them, no matter how, uh, uh, deep you know all right no matter how no matter, no matter how you explain the truth to them the truth of the bible all right the the 1611 king james version all right including the apocrypha which is the wisdom knowledge and understanding of yahweh bashi all right that was that was from the heavens that came down on earth all right that was given to our given to our apostle and the elders great millstone all right which was led down to us all right the truth all right the true understanding of the Bible. All right. Our people, two thirds of, of, of our people are not going to get it. All right. No matter how you slice it, no matter how you deliver it to them, you can deliver it to them harsh, soft, all right, having compassion. All right. They're not going to get it, but the elect is going to get it. All right. Romans 11 and verse seven. What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for. Who is Israel? Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. I right, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the twelve tribes according to their fathers. I right, we are the Israelites. I right, we are the, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, God who the world eagerly called God, real name is Yahweh. We are his chosen people. I right, and the Savior who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ, real name is Yahweh Shai. I right, is from the he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. I right, he's our big brother, and he's coming back to save a remnant of his people. The elect, the one who do understand it. All right. Romans 11 and 7. What did Israel have not attained that which he seeking for? What is the elect seeking for? I mean, what is Israel seeking for? The truth. <laughs> it's like it. It's seeking for the truth. All right. They're seeking for the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right. Are right. they trying to find rest for their soul? <laughs> but the Lord blinded them. So there are people are into all different type of philosophies. The scriptures talk about how our people are lost sheep. All right, now Lord Yahushua came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, but we know that the elect is going to, the one who's going to hear the voice of of our Lord Yahushua, which is coming from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem All right, the elect is going to hear his voice and they're going to return, but the elect is going to be blinded. I mean, the, but the two thirds is going to be a blinded. So like it, the elect is going to return, but the two thirds is going to be blinded. It says, what then Israel have not attained that which he seeking for, but the election had attained it and the rest were blinded because our people are blinded. It's going to the lost sheep. <laughs> All right. Psalms chapter 19, Psalm chapter 119 and verse 176. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. So our people went away as a whole. The scripture says, um, get this, Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So our people, we discontinue from our heritage, all of us, all right? We didn't know who we are, and we became lost sheep. We came into those different. We uh, got into those different philosophies. I right? start worshiping idols, so the Lord hid His face from us. 
all right, into a certain time. I started when the uh was it uh this the late uh the seventies, nineteen seventies, nineteen sixty nine. All right, that's when the Lord sent Elder Abba Bivens to wake us up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashima Shai. All right. But we know that the elect I have that understanding that there's a way right, to live and there's a and that we have a power. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shah. That's who we serve. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to mountain. They have gotten their resting place. All right, and that's our people. They went to all different philosophies, all different ways, trying to seek the Heavenly Father. I right, but they've been lost. Scripture say they have a zeal, but not Romans 10 and 2. I bear them record that they have the zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Verse 3, Romans 10 and 3, For they be ignorant of the Most High righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. Yeah, they're not going to submit themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. That's why they continue being blind. Second Corinthians, two, Second Corinthians chapter four verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. All right, because they're blinded. And whom the God of Israel have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Who is the God of Israel? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. At least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine upon them. I right, saw so people has been lost. I right, because the Heavenly Father how put. I right, different stumbling blocks in front of our people, all right, to uh to not get them to understand it. That's why they're blind. That's why they're the lost sheep. But the Lord said uh he's gonna come to the house to the lost sheep and the elect is gonna wake back up. Matthew ten and verse six Matthew chapter ten, verse five, and these twelve Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the ways of the Gentiles. In into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The house. So we're not supposed to go because these other nations is not for them. It's for Israel. This word is for Israel. These other nations they're not gonna get it. Only the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the elect, is gonna hear it. And as you go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and that's what we tell our people: the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Follow your shepherd, which is our Lord Yahushua. The chief shepherd. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is our Lord Yahweh. All right. Luke chapter 15 and verse uh, 4. What men having, what men of you having a hundred sheep, if ye lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine? In, in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. And when, you, when he have found it, he laid it on his shoulder rejoicing. And that's how the elect was, you know, went away in the heavenly father through his son, Yahweh Shai. I sent our prophets to gather the elect back because they went away as lost sheep. And when he coming home, call it together his friends and neighbors saying, rejoice with me for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth. And the angels rejoice I right, when when the elect wakes up. Alright. More more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Alright. And that's how the the elect is gonna come back. Because two thirds, they're gonna establish their own righteousness. They're not gonna follow after the ways of Yahweh by Shiva Shai. And they're gonna be blinded. I right, into the missiles come. I said my sheep hear my voice. <laughs> John ten and verse sixteen. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. I right, talking about the northern kingdom because the Lord had to come, had to go to the Americas to teach the word to them. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. John 10 and verse 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. All right. John 10 and verse 25. And Yahushua answer, I told you and ye believe not the words that I do in my father's name. I, they bear me, they bear witness of me. 
And during the time when our Lori Howshaw was on the scene, they didn't listen to him. All right. All right. So they're not going to listen to him now. It says, but ye believe not because you are not my of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any pluck them out of my hand. Talking about the elect. My father, which gave me them, which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one, meaning the same mindset. I right, so the elect is not going to be plucked up. The elect is going to return and they found what they're seeking for. All right, but the, the two thirds, they're still blinded, which was a prop was a prophecy. Romans, Romans, 10, Romans 11. Romans 11 and verse 7 again. <laughs> it says, What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeking for, but the election had attainment, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. So unto this day, our people are blinded. And David said, Let their table be a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and bound down their neck always. All right, so our people, they're not going to see this book of Isaiah. No matter how hard, no matter what you say to them, they're not going to get it. But the election is going to get it. Isaiah chapter 6 in verse 9, it says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. We're talking about Israel. And, uh, it says, hear, Tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. They're going to hear. They're gonna hear us. They're gonna see us, but they're not gonna get to understand. And they're not gonna, the, it's not gonna click. The word is not gonna click. It's like, oh, it makes sense. Just how it clicked with us, and and uh, and all the brothers that that wake up, that woke up to the truth, the hopeful elect. When we heard his word, it instantly resonated in us. And instantly, oh, that's the that's, that's what we was looking for our whole life. But our people, they they hear it, they don't click. <laughs> they see it, it don't click. That 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 spark. That spark doesn't activate, you know what I mean? You like when you got a a fan or iron, you plug it up in a in a power socket, and it and it and it clicks and it clicks on the the light clicks on on the, on the on the um on the iron, or the or you plug in a fan and you turn it on and the fan start working, or the TV, the outlet. All right. We 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 got plugged in the power source by hearing this word. We and we instantly clicked on. But our people, their light don't come on. Their power doesn't it doesn't work because it because they're not gonna get it. This is when they're gonna get it. Isaiah chapter six and verse uh, ten. It says, "Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed." So the Lord got an angel to blind our people. Verse 11, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants, and the cities without men, and the land be utterly desolate. That's how long our people are going to be blinded. And our Lord, Yahweh shall quote this precept also. And I'll end off on this. Matthew chapter 13, in verse 10, it says, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but, but to them is not given. So the elect is going to obtain and know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But the rest of our people, they ain't gonna, they're not going to understand. For whatsoever, for whosoever have, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundant. But whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that he have. Therefore speak I to them in parables because they see and not and hearing not. Stop in hearing they stop. Verse thirteen, Matthew chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. Therefore speak I to them in parables because they seeing see not, in hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing, this is this is the Lord's quoting, by hearing ye shall hear. And shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For these people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Alright? They're willingly ignorant. 
Lisa, at any time, they shall see with their eyes and hear with their ears and shall understand with their heart and should be converted and I shall heal them. But blessed are your eyes for they see and for your ears for they hear. So there's a distinction. There's the elect, the Israel of the Most High, and there's regular Israel that's blinded, that's going to die, and they're going to have to come back through the elect. Verse 17, For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. All right, but now we see and we hear in the prophecies. That's all we know about the MOB. All right, that's all we know about the famine that's coming. World War Three. All right. All right, all type of hell. All right, the coming of our Lord. How our Lord coming back? And so-called UFOs. Who's the wicked? The mysteries of the Bible. The understanding. Who? What nation is what nation? Who is Israel? You know, who's the covenant, the glory, the blessings, the promises? Who all that for? Because the Lord revealed that unto us, which we are blessed. All right, because we the hopeful elect, and the Lord received gave us this knowledge to ultimately for our salvation. And the ones who don't get it and that rejected it and they can't resonate they're not going to be delivered all right because the lord is coming back for his elect the election you know so lord when in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of israel you know i want to give all praises all honor and all glory unto yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rechakurash i want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at great millstone with Ruba, and i want to give all peace greetings and salutations to all the like akim that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom, keep pushing, keep doing shalom.